Hey, what's up everyone? This is Julie. I am so excited to be here um, with you all today and I'm so glad that um, you are subscribed to my channel and that you are watching my videos. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you. And this is why I do what I do, okay? Because I appreciate you all so much. Hey guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button on this video and all of my other videos. You doing so actually helps my channel become more recognizable here in YouTube and also on Google. And if you have not yet rang that notification bell, well, you might just want to do that, okay? Um, so you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. Right now, I am in the process of producing and uploading all of these Prometric Testable Skills videos. Yeah, guys. Um, so I just uploaded um, gives, uh, you know, a partial bed, bath, and back rub or provides a partial bed, bath, and back, bed, I can't talk, provides a partial bed, bath, and back rub um, this morning. I hope you all were able uh, to, you know, check that video out. Um, if not, Hey, whenever you have time, please do so, okay? Um, what I'm getting ready to uh, perform now or demonstrate to you now is the Prometric Testable Skill um, performs passive range of motion on one elbow and one wrist, okay? So you'll be doing two exercises, flexion and extension for the elbow and flexion and hyperextension for the wrist, okay? Um, you'll have to perform each exercise three times, okay? And just remember, before you start exercising, um, you know, instruct the person to let you know whether or not they're experiencing any pain or discomfort uh, during the exercises, okay? So two very important um, aspects, okay? Uh, another thing, this skill is performed on a live person. I'm only using a mannequin for training purposes, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. You don't need any supplies except for yourself, okay? I'm just going to stick my badge in my shirt. So when I, if I have to lean over the resident, it won't be um, hitting the resident, okay, or touching the resident. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Hi, good morning, Mrs. Jones. My name is Julie. I'm your CNA, and today I'm going to be exercising your arm, okay? We're going to do a couple of exercises for your elbow and for your wrist, but first, I just want to do a brief safety check. I want to make sure that your bed is in a low safe position. Your bed wheels are locked. I'm going to give you your car light in your right hand because I will be exercising your left arm okay i'm going to provide you with privacy and now i'm going to wash my hands and i'll be right back all right guys i'm sorry i'm using my pivo so if it loses track of me i apologize okay so I'm washing my hands, and now I'm back. Hi, Mrs. Jones. It's me, Julie, your CNA. I am back, and we're going to get started on these exercises. Now, during testing, you are going to be given a scenario card, okay? And all the skills that you are going to be required to perform will be typed on the scenario card, all right? So you have to pay really close attention um, in, in regards to what arm it tells you you need to perform this exercise on, okay? So for right now, I'm just going to perform it on her left arm, but I just wanted to let you all know that you have to be really, really careful, okay, um, reading your scenario cards, all right? All right, Mrs. Jones, so the first exercise that um, I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, bend your arm towards you and then bring it back down, okay? And I'm going to perform this exercise three times. If at any time you're feeling any pain or discomfort during the exercises, please let me know. 
I'll stop and I'll go get the nurse, okay? All right. So, you'll want to support underneath the elbow joint and the wrist joint, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to bend the elbow. You don't have to lift the elbow off of the bed or the arm off the bed, but you're going to bend it up towards the person. Now, keep in mind, this is performed on a live person. So when you're actually performing the skill on a live person, when you bend that person's elbow, right, you want their hand uh, to reach their shoulder, okay? This is a mannequin, so it's not going to. She's very limited on her, uh, you know, how far she can move her joints, okay? But for the live person, you want to make sure that you bend their arm um, all the way up to their shoulder, okay? Just like this, all right? All right. All right, Mrs. Jones, you ready? Here we go. One. You feeling okay? All right. Two. And three. Good job, Mrs. Jones. You feeling okay? Any pain or discomfort? All right, awesome. Now I'm going to exercise your wrist, okay? And I'm just going to... Um, Bend your wrist forward and bend it backwards, okay? Again, if at any time, if you're feeling any pain or discomfort, just let me know, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to support Mrs. Jones's um, wrist joint underneath, okay? And I'm just going to hold her hand, put my other hand over her hand. I'm going to bend her wrist forward and then I'm going to hyper extend it backwards okay you feeling okay mrs jones all right so i'm going to flex forward and then hyper extend backwards feeling okay awesome and then flex forward and hyper extend backwards all right, Mrs. Jones, that is it. Are you feeling, are you still feeling okay? No pain, no discomfort? Awesome. All right, Mrs. Jones, so I'm just going to do a brief safety check. Bed is still in a low safe position. Bed walls are locked. You still have your call light within reach. Privacy is maintained. Washing hands. And then I'm going to wait a couple of seconds, right, before I say still complete because I want to make sure I did not omit any steps or I did not perform any steps incorrectly. Again, there are no limitations to how many self-corrections you can make, but as long as you make them before you state skill complete and as long as you still have time remaining on your test, okay? So I think I did everything okay. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands, skill complete. Yay! All right, so again, Right? You want to make sure that you are supporting underneath the elbow joint and the wrist joint when you're performing flexion and extension on the elbow. Again, this skill is performed on a live person, so when you actually flex their elbow, you're going to flex it um, all the way to their shoulder, just like this. Okay, so they're lying down, right, and you're going to bring it up just like this. All right? And then with the wrist, exercise the flexion and hyperextension just make sure you're supporting underneath the wrist joint the best way or easiest way for me to do this is just to place my hand on top of the person's hand and then uh you know flex it forward and then hyperextend it backwards just like this all right okay um, another important element please 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 before you start the skill instruct the resident uh, to let you know whether or not they feel any pain or discomfort um, during any of the exercises, okay? And you see, as I did, um, I was saying it throughout the skill, right? Okay, so you might want to do that also. All right, guys, that's it. Um, that was performed passive range of motion for one elbow and one wrist. Again, the elbow exercise is flexion and extension. The wrist exercise is flexion and hyperextension, okay? Got to do three, uh, both exercises three times. You want to make sure that you um, do the exercise slow, not too fast, okay? And be gentle. All right, guys. Thank you all so much. 
Love you. Again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, smash that subscribe button, click the like button on this video and all of my other videos, and don't forget to ring that notification bell if you like to be notified whenever I upload new content. See you all later. Ciao.